hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to create a function for insert the record and update the record okay so basically we are going to create a function name as insert so which will be helpful to insert the record and same with the function update to update the records okay so guys let's get started so first let's move to our admin dashboard and here you see we have created the add user so while inserting the record we use direct sql query okay so we are going to create a shortcut for it so let's go to this user create.php let's move back move inside admin user create.php okay so here is a submit button save user and when the button is clicked then it goes to the form action that is going to code.php so let's move there to code.php and find the save user button okay so here is our save user button with the post method and the query here you see that we have directly written the query right so instead of writing the query in this way we are going to create a shortcut so guys for that let's get started so guys let's go to the config folder inside that config we have a function.php where we have created all the shortcut function so same way we are going to create for insert and update function okay so let's type your function and the function name insert open and close curly brace and here add a table name comma and your data that is your input data and your database column fields so now guys you can get back to code.php let's comment this and okay let me zoom it so first create one variable and give as an array the key is going to be your column field names so we have insert into the user table so these are the column fields right so we are going to paste here okay and make sure you are just adding them and give the variable dollar name okay so we have the variable name here and same with the phone guys okay so all the input fields so let me just finish it then password then your hashed password so here you see that is your hashed password let's copy this and paste here and finally the ban and role okay and then the role so guys we have stored the data in one array and now let's create a variable called result or response so inside that we are going to pass the insert function okay and insert inside this insert we are going to specify the table name first so this is my table name users and then you are going to pass your data okay so this is the data and now guys you can just echo this to see the output and now let's go to this insert function so we move there and here you need to write the connection let's get the database connection okay and now you need to type the query let us copy this query let's copy this and paste here and now you need to remove values and the column field names and now guys first step we need to get the table name so let me copy this from here and paste it and then let's copy this variable table name and paste here dollar table okay and then guys your final columns and then your final values 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 so before this let me comment and you need to get this data so this data is coming in a array format we are going to separate them using implode function so first we will check with the array key and values so let's tell dollar columns equal to user array key underscore keys function so now guys we are going to get all the keys from this and store in a variable called columns so let me just show you the keys so here are the keys guys name phone email and these are the values so same way tell here dollar values equal to array of values function dollar data and now let's try to echo this so just use the return and paste it 
so if you click here it is going to respond the output let's get back let me add some dummy details here so yep okay password and role now let's click on save so here you see a warning array to string conversion and before that we have an undefined key array key is in ban okay let me see that okay so you can just use a is set function guys let me remove that validate and just add is set function so it is going to check if it is set then it will set to true else null and now if you refresh again okay so we have this issue array to string conversion now let's go back to the insert function here and let's tell final columns equal to user implode function implode function open and close bracket and i want the data printed by comma pass the columns oops i have made a spelling mistake it's implode not implead and now copy and paste here and let's try to see the output refresh perfect guys so we have got the column field name so let me just show you so these are the columns which we are seeing in the user table so let me see that in the user table we see name name phone email password is band role so same column fields we see here okay name full email password is band and role so which are separated by commas done and now guys let us see again here so this columns we have got and same way we need to get all the values also so let me tell you final values equal to to use double quotes here first and then single quotes and again double quotes so let me just zoom and show you okay so here and inside this we are going to use a implode function again double quote let's add a single quotes and then separate them comma and then guys give comma pass the values dollar values and we find an error we need to just concatenate it guys control x add dot dot and paste that that's it it's fixed so now guys let's see this output for this values final values now refresh so here you see we get all the values so let me just zoom okay asd and phone email password hashed password is ban and your rule admin okay and now guys get back and this column final column and final values we are passing inside this query so we pass that final values and final column and now we can remove this and just return result okay so it gives true or false from here and now guys let us get back again to the code.php so when it saves okay let's remove it so here that's it guys okay done and now guys let me just explain this so these keys are nothing but your database column field names okay so let me just show you so this is my table column field names which i'm passing in the array key and the input values as a value of array okay so no confusion here and now guys let's test it so yep let's go back refresh and now let me add the aaa user some phone number aaa at gmail.com password admin and let's save so here you see user added successfully we have created the user with the help of insert function okay so we have successfully built the insert function in php guys okay so now guys let's try to update this record by update function okay so let's click on edit so we are going to update this record so let's create the function for that also so let's go back to the user edit.php 
so here is a user edit okay it goes to the form action code dot php on what button it is going let me see that okay update user let's go to the code dot php search for the update user so here is the update user and here is the update query guys so we have to transform this into our function so as simple we need to get all the input fields so let's create a variable called data equal to array inside this array you have to pass all these variables okay so we can just copy and paste here now remove this let's add a tune add in single quotes again single all done guys so our data variable is ready i mean data is ready here and for this is ban you can see that let's make it to is set if it is true then it is going to give true or false okay and now we can get back again and yep let's create a variable called result equal to uh, update function where you pass your table name that is users and then the id so basically the id is user id here let's get this user id and pass it pass the user id and then your data okay this input data all set and now let me comment here and let's copy this completely and now get back to your functions.php and create a function so let's create a function with the name update function open and close and paste that query first so uncomment it and now guys let us copy this database connection and table name here let's paste and you need to get the id also and paste that id here so first dollar table name the second was the id and third is your input data all set and yep let's modify the query and here you are going to set column fields so dollar final um, update data okay and use a where condition id equal to dollar id okay and this is going to be your column fields so first we are going to assign as a string okay and yep let's use a for each loop for each open and close curly brace and let's loop the array of data that is your data variable so inside this data we have the keys so keys is nothing but the column names as and its value or values okay so guys we need to concatenate so let me create one variable update column values data equal to string and let's concatenate this dot equal to let me just zoom it okay the columns let's tell here and then concatenate with single quotes equal to and then again users double quotes inside the double quotes user single quote and just pass the values so dollar values okay as simple and you get this data here copy this variable and echo and see whether it's coming correct or not so let me save and let's comment this query right now and not you need to return it okay save it and get back to user code so here let me comment this code also okay and now let's echo this get back let's update guys so here you see that the query is ready so let me just show you so here name equal to that single quotes but we didn't find that comma so we have to give the comma after each column field name so we are missing somewhere in the update function uh, here guys so you just need to add that comma at last now you can get back and refresh continue so you see that it's separated by comma so phone also is separated email also is separated by comma okay and at last if you see we find an extra comma here okay so you see that we have an extra comma so we need to remove that using some 
function so what we'll do we'll use a substring function where you pass the variable and give comma so from first it is going to be zero i'm not going to take any thing and from the last i'm going to take the first letter okay now you save it and let's see the output so refresh okay so you see that guys at last it has come out we don't have an extra comma so in some case guys if you try to give the space here so it is going to give the comma so here you see that some guys make mistakes so for that case what we'll do we will just use a trim function here so trim trim function and then pass that data okay so if you give the space also it is going to remove that and remove the comma also okay so now guys our query is ready here let's update that in the update query so let's move and yep let's control x and paste on this variable final update data and let's uncomment the code all done and here is your query ready and with the where condition id we are going to update for that id and if you want you can add a limit here limit equal to one and now guys you need to return this whether it is true or false it will return okay so now you can just get back again and remove this echo and up comment this we do not require this we have already written that code in a update function as simple so now guys let's save and test it so let's move back go back and yep so i'm going to update this to k and l okay now let's click on update so here you see user admin updated successfully data also is updated phone number okay let's update perfect all done guys awesome so guys we see that we have created the update function in php okay so guys in this video that's it let's continue next video with the new topic so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share